Get ready to understand artificial intelligence in a whole new way. I'm going to give you a crystal clear explanation of the game-changing technology called generative AI. In this video, we'll dig into exactly what makes generative AI unlike any other AI, and how it lets computers create completely new content like text, images and music from scratch. From the major categories of generative models to their unique strengths and weaknesses, you're about to get an in-depth introduction to one of the most exciting recent breakthroughs ever in AI. We'll start from the very basics. What does it mean for an AI to be generative? Let's begin. Generative AI refers to a class of artificial intelligence systems that are capable of generating new original content based on patterns learned from existing data. Unlike more traditional AI systems that are designed to analyze data or make predictions, Generative AI models can produce completely new outputs like text, images, audio and video. At a high level, generative AI systems work by first analysing large amounts of example data. This could be a data set of photographs, texts or even genetic sequences. Using neural networks, the system identifies the underlying structure and relationships within the data. It learns to encode representations of the data in a compressed form. Once this model is trained, it can then generate brand new samples that resemble the original dataset but are completely unique. To do this, the system randomly samples from the encoded representation space and decodes those samples into the desired output format such as text or images. The end result is an AI system capable of autonomous creation, rather than just analysis and prediction. This opens up a wide range of exciting possibilities for generative AI across many industries and applications. There are several major categories of generative AI models, each with its own unique capabilities and trade-offs. First comes Variational Autoencoders, or VAEs. These were some of the first generative models capable of producing novel, realistic outputs like images. As the name implies, VAEs consist of two components, an encoder network that compresses input data into a latent space representation, and a decoder network that reconstructs data from points in the latent space, Samples can be generated by sampling random points in latent space and decoding them. Then comes generative adversarial networks or GANs. This model consists of two neural networks pitted against each other. A generator network that tries to produce realistic synthetic data and a discriminator network that tries to distinguish real data from the fake outputs. As training progresses, the generator gets better at fooling the discriminator. This adversarial framework results in highly realistic outputs the trade-off is that GANs can be difficult to train properly. Mode collapse is a common failure mode where the model produces limited variety. Overall, GANs are better suited for domain-specific data generation tasks compared to broader applications. And after these two comes diffusion models. These are more recent development in generative AI, also known as denoising diffusion probabilistic models or DDPMs. They take a unique approach to generatively modeling data. Diffusion models slowly add noise to data during training and then learn to reverse that process to produce clean outputs. This noise-based training process allows diffusion models to achieve both high sample quality and broad sample diversity. The trade-off is slower sampling compared to VAEs and GANs. However, diffusion models currently produce the most realistic and flexible outputs, making them well-suited as general-purpose generative models. Moving on, thanks to rapid advances over the past decade, Modern generative AI systems have several key strengths, such as high output quality. Outputs like images are often indistinguishable from real data, while generated text can be coherent and human-like. Quality continues improving with larger models and datasets. Another example is efficient learning. Generative models can leverage vast amounts of unlabeled data. This semi-supervised approach speeds up training and reduces data labeling costs. Then we have flexible applications, a single generative model can tackle multiple different tasks like image editing, text generation, and sound synthesis based on the prompt and conditioning inputs provided by the user. And finally, data augmentation. Generative models provide a data factory to cheaply synthesize large labeled data sets to train other machine learning systems. This is especially useful when real data is sparse or absent. Furthermore, while generative AI holds great promise, current models have some weaknesses too which starts with computational costs. Training and running very large generative models requires massive amounts of computing power. Specialized hardware like high-end GPUs is often needed, putting these models out of reach for many organizations due to the financial costs. 
Then we have sampling speed. Some generative models like diffusion models produce excellent quality but have slow sampling. This limits their use for real-time applications that require fast generation speeds. Another weakness is data needs. Generative models require vast data sets for training to achieve maximum capability and output quality. For some specialized domains like medicine, sufficient training data may not exist. And finally, trustworthiness. Since models are trained on huge unlabeled datasets, there are risks of generating biased, incorrect or unsafe outputs. Evaluating trustworthiness is an open challenge. Researchers are exploring techniques to overcome these weaknesses, like developing more efficient model architectures and training methods. But computational needs, data hunger and trust issues remain obstacles limiting the scalability and applicability of generative AI today. And now let's talk about some use cases for generative AI. Despite current limitations, generative AI enables exciting new applications across many industries. For example, in content creation, generative models can exponentially accelerate media production of text, images, audio and video. They assist human creatives by generating ideas and original content or augmenting existing works. In data augmentation, generative models synthesize realistic training data to save labeling costs for other AI systems. This is especially valuable when real-world data is limited. For drug discovery, these models can create and screen novel molecular structures to accelerate pharmaceutical research. In domains like finance and climate, generative models learn from past data to forecast and simulate potential futures. And for automation, workflows like customer service, conversations and documentation can be handled by generative models, producing responses, translations and summaries. The possibilities are vast. Ongoing research has led to remarkable advances in generative AI lately. For example, bigger models with billions of parameters set new records for realism and capability, as model size and training data continue to improve output quality. With techniques like instruction tuning, even enormous models can be prompted to efficiently perform new tasks without full retraining. And methods like reinforcement learning from human feedback align model behavior with desired human values making outputs more useful. While scale has been a dominant trend, recent breakthroughs indicate specialized or distilled smaller models can also achieve strong performance on many tasks, but larger models continue pushing the boundaries of emergent capabilities in areas like reasoning and conversation. Recent research indicates specialized domain-specific models can outperform larger general-purpose models on many tasks. This suggests smaller tailored models will play a bigger role moving forward. Techniques like model distillation could also allow compressing capabilities of huge models into more efficient versions. Perhaps most critically, the trustworthiness of generative models needs to increase substantially. Techniques that provide users transparency, control and accountability over how models behave will be crucial for managing risks around bias, misinformation and harmful content. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.